Plants that attract butterflies. Butterflies are not just pretty and enchanting, they also offer important environmental benefits, such as plant pollination and pest control. They also serve as tasty meals for other creatures such as frogs and lizards, and even humans. Yes, that's right, in some parts of the world, butterflies are considered a delicacy. While you probably aren't interested in dining on a butterfly, you might want to lure some of these fluttery beauties to your patio or garden. If so, here are the top butterfly attracting plants to consider growing on your property. Swamp milkweed. The only food source of monarch caterpillars and a preferred source of nectar for many butterfly species, including the adult monarch, there are over 100 varieties of milkweeds in North America. Hardy swamp milkweed, shown here, is a good choice for zones 3 to 8 but prefers moist conditions till well established. Ornamental grasses. Bright flowers are not the only plants that will attract winged beauties to your yard. Ornamental grasses are also highly popular with butterflies, including Indian grass, little blue stem, pink mully grass, river oats and Carex pensylvansia, which is a wonderful nesting place for caterpillars, meaning butterflies won't be far behind. Butterfly bush, budlia. Butterfly bushes are large, fast-growing shrubs whose flowers are irresistible to butterflies. Budalias are easy care plants, but they're invasive in some areas. Look for sterile cultivars which don't set seed and therefore don't run wild. Goldenrod. Butterflies like brightly colored flowers, so a brilliant yellow flower like goldenrod is a good choice. Best of all, goldenrod is simple to plant and easy to care for as it requires little watering or tending and can grow just about anywhere, though it thrives in full sun. Butterfly weed. These gorgeous flowers aren't called butterfly weed for nothing. Butterflies simply love the pretty orange flowers on this milkweed, and it attracts a wide variety of species, especially monarchs. The plant also attracts caterpillars, which should mean even more butterflies in your future. Butterfly weed is considered quite hardy and easy to grow. Lantana. Lantana produces profuse color, showing off clusters of tiny, eye-catching blooms in a variety of hues. Typically grown as an annual, it's an excellent low hedge or accent shrub that you can also train as a standard. It attracts butterflies and tolerates heat. Black-eyed Susans. Black-eyed Susans are a quintessential American flower. This native wildflower is said to have gotten its name from an early 1700s poem. These simple, bright flowers are drought tolerant and make an excellent border flower, and, of course, they attract butterflies like nobody's business. Purple Coneflower Purple coneflowers are attractive to butterflies both because they are bright purple and their cone shape makes them easy to pollinate. They are also hardy so they can endure cold weather. Along with attracting butterflies and bees, purple coneflowers are also favored by birds such as cardinals and blue jays that like to eat the seeds. Herbs. If you want to attract butterflies, you might want to add herbs such as dill, fennel and parsley to your garden. These will bring butterflies, and caterpillars also enjoy dining on these herbs and will make their cocoons nearby. Blazing Star Flowers, Liatris spicata. The Blazing Star is an interesting perennial which produces one to three foot tall spikes of bright purplish pink or white flowers in late June to early fall. It is an ideal plant to grow in a butterfly garden. Joe Pie Weed. This statuesque plant adds strong architectural interest to your flower border and attracts butterflies by the dozen. Because perennial foliage usually declines after the plants bloom, choosing a late-season bloomer such as Joe Pie Weed ensures you have lush, beautiful foliage all season long. The variety called Gateway, shown, reaches up to 6 feet in height. Pipevine. Along with flowers and herbs, consider adding vines to your butterfly garden. Pipevine is a favorite of swallowtail butterflies, and in fact, 
there is a type of butterfly named after the vine, the pipevine swallowtail butterfly, pictured below. These vines have large heart-shaped leaves and offer good shade as well as privacy if you plant it around windows. Cardinal flower, Lobelia cardinalis. This stunning American wildflower loves moist, shady woodland areas and attracts butterflies and hummingbirds for miles around. Aster. Aster is an herbaceous perennial that comes in a wide variety of colors. Its daisy-like flowers bloom in late summer and autumn in a sunny site. Flowering dogwood. Trees can be a major attraction for butterflies, including the flowering dogwood. In fact, flowering dogwoods can be attractive for creatures such as bees and birds as well, so if you plant one of these beauties, you can expect to enjoy a gorgeous wildlife display, especially when it blossoms in spring. Shrubs. Shrubs such as spicebush, false indigo and kundi can also bring butterflies to your garden. In fact, experts say that the reduction in butterflies can be linked to the reduction of kundi caused by urban development, so if you want to help keep butterflies safe and thriving, consider planting this easy-to-maintain shrub in your garden. Salvia Salvia produces fragrant foliage and tall spikes of flowers, usually in shades of purple or white. Its nectar attracts butterflies and hummingbirds. Heliotrope Heliotrope has a sweet, pungent scent that some liken to the smell of cherry pie. Dwarf marine features a royal purple color. It is large-flowered yet compact and has attractive, dark green foliage and a bushy habit. Agapanthus. Agapanthus comes to life in late summer. It features large, elegant, deep blue bell-shaped blooms that are clustered together on tall, sturdy stems. These showy flower heads stand well above the plant's foliage. Don't plant butterfly bush. Now that we have discussed the types of plants that do attract butterflies, here is something interesting. The butterfly bush, which is so named because it is supposed to be very desirable to butterflies and birds, is getting quite a bad rap these days, and many experts are saying that you should not plant this bush. For one thing, it's invasive and prevents other plants from flourishing, and for another thing, while it may attract butterflies to your garden, it won't keep them there. If you want your garden to be loved by butterflies, you need to make sure that you have a variety of plants that will attract caterpillars and offer safe places for them to build cocoons. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.